Okay, update on the worm bin. I originally had it in here and it was too small. I only had 250 in there. It actually wasn't too small for the 250 that I had in there, but I wanted to move it over here um, because I wanted them to increase in you know the amount of worms that in here that are that that are in here and um i also wanted to try out a bigger bin i ordered a um thousand worms which is um a pound of worms i'm gonna put them in here along with the worms that are already in here and i might actually continue to use this one um or like separate out a uh, hundred or so worms or whatever and put them in there but um i wanted to talk about this bin because i made a mistake um with this bin i had it i had them in here for a while and i felt like the bedding was a little bit too dry at one point so what i did was i added a lot more water and then i added a melon um that went bad in the refrigerator and I added the whole melon. I didn't like chop it up into tiny pieces like I should have. I just cut it up into a few big chunks. Um, the problem with that is the melon went bad really fast. And I opened up the worm bin after like two days of the melon being in here. And it was really disgusting. Like it smelled like crap. And there was way too much moisture, way too much liquid. So what I did was, in order to fix it, was I took a whole bunch of all the shredded paper that I had left. I took a whole bunch of it and I mixed it in and I lifted everything up and turned stuff around and, you know, so that everything can be aerated properly. While the bin was in its bad state, like all of the worms were up here and up here, as you can see, there's just like one worm left up here. There were like two up on both sides when I first opened it, but the light made them crawl away. But um, the worms were all up in here congregating and you can see all the worm castings that they left behind um, up there. Um, but they really did not like the super, super wetness that was in the bin so I you know had to change that and the paper just adding the paper and turning it around and you know uh mixing everything together that definitely made a huge difference and now the bin does not smell at all anymore I'm opening I opened it up and I moved some things around to see if I could smell a foul smell and yesterday it smelled a little bit like ammonia tiny bit but today I don't smell anything at all which is great so that means that I don't have to worry about um the anaerobic bacteria in here anymore as you can see when I move stuff around let's see what we can find we have some worms there um I put in some um I put in a bottle of uh, tomato sauce that had these silly kids opened up and decided they were going to make spaghetti but they left the entire bottle out it's a resealable bottle they left the entire bottle out uncovered overnight so i put that in here so i think the worms have been eating on that um right now so yeah it all looks pretty good right at the moment um doesn't smell at all anymore I'm trying to find some worms <laughs> They're all hiding because I, I've had the cover off for a minute because I tried to record and then uh, I had to re start re-recording. Oh, there we go. There's some worms. There they are. They're hiding. They don't like the light. So, yeah, the worms, um, they're doing a lot better. Over here, it is a little bit, a lot more wet in this corner, and that's probably why they're all down there. There, there we go. But yeah, so far so good with this um, bin, aside from the unfortunate incident of too much liquid in the bin. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy some grill racks or some type of rack that has like a, you know, separation. And I'm going to, or maybe some cookie sheet racks or something like that. I have some in my cabinet, but they're not the right kind. So I'm not going to, obviously I'm not going to use my cookie sheet racks. I'm going to go get some cheap ones from like the dollar store or something. And I'm going to put that in the bottom of here so there can be some type of drainage. Um and then go just do it like that because um i don't want them to have way too much liquid in there they do have a lot of liquid in there as i take off the top there is like you know um 
residue humidity humidity condensation there we go condensation on the top of the lid and as you can see two worms are crawling around on the lid I'm um, having fun and I keep getting flies attracted to here. All right, so that's my worm bin. Um, I've had this worm bin for, uh, I don't even know how long now, but the worms are doing good. I do have fruit flies living in there and reproducing in there. Hopefully the fruit flies, once all the fruit flies hatch, they'll be gone and gone forever. So yeah, there we go. That's my worm bin. That's the old worm bin that I'm going to, when I get the new ones, I'm going to reintroduce them and put them in there first and then transfer them over to this one and see how that goes. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.